welcome year six to your virtual tour. Thank you very much for that, Mr. Shackleton. Hi everyone, my name's Mr. Davis. I'm deputy head teacher. I oversee everything to do with pastoral care, behavior and attendance uh, and student support here at Oldbury Academy. Welcome to our fantastic reception to our school. I'm gonna show you a little bit more as we go inside. Uh, we'll head this way through into our science block. This is our main stairway that takes you up onto the level two landing, uh, which gives you access to pretty much all parts of the school. As we make our way through these doors, we'll be coming into the lower area of science and also our, some of our ICT classrooms. We are currently using this block as our year seven zone, where all of our year sevens are based in their form rooms. Uh, it gives us a nice uh, central space for all of our classes, which combines the specialist rooms for science uh, and also purpose-built ICT rooms with full ICT access. As you will see from uh, from Albury Academy. When it comes to learning, the sky is absolutely the limit. And we'll head this way through to our library. Okay, so this is one of our specialist science uh, labs that we've got, all fully equipped, as you can see, with gas taps around the outside of the room and all the equipment you would need uh, to be able to carry out the fascinating science experiments that go on daily here at Oldbury Academy. And as always, everywhere you go in science, we've also got the planets as well. Okay, so now we're in the library. Um, for those of you parents and carers that remember the Warley of old from, uh, from many years gone by, this used to be our old, old gym. Um, it's now a library, it's a fantastic uh, place for learning, very much a multi-use area which doubles up not only as a classroom, uh, the base for our ICT technicians, uh, but also somewhere students can come and sit and while away the hours uh, reading some of the thousands of books that we've got. For those of you that are sports enthusiasts, we've also got lots of sports memorabilia up and around the room as well, just to uh, keep things interesting for everybody. Okay, we'll move off into our SEN zone. We are a truly comprehensive school and we aim to meet the needs of all of our students. Uh, and this is where our SEND department are based. Um, we're incredibly proud of all of our learners and all of our staff. Uh, we do have some learners that do require extra support, be that inside the classroom, be that on a one-to-one -one basis or in small group works. Uh, and this is where a lot of that work and intervention will take place through the very talented SEN team that we've got here at Oldbury Academy. So this is very much the hub of all of that work. And this concludes my part of the tour before I hand over to, to Mr. Cresswell. Uh, this brings you to the canteen. Again, one of the very important hubs of our school, one of the main meeting and social places uh, for our students where they can come, get their food from the serveries in the canteen, which covers uh, all sorts of um, menus and diets and dietary needs, uh, somewhere to sit and chat with your friends, but also access out into the main playground areas so students can go and get some fresh air at break and at lunchtime uh, and spend time with their friends and also letting off just a little bit of steam maybe with some of the sports and also activities that are going on around the site on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is the canteen and at that point I will hand over to Mr Creswell. <music> Thank you, Mr. Davis, and uh, welcome all to the maths department. And I'll take you for a little tour around uh, our maths department if you'd like to follow me. Just taking you into one of our maths rooms here, and you can get a good look at uh, our maths room. We have specialist maths rooms. We have a whole block dedicated to maths. So uh, when your children come to our school, they'll find it very easy to navigate the maths department because all the maths rooms are all in one place. Um, I'll just take you a little bit further in our maths department if you'd like to follow me. Okay, this is another one of our maths rooms. Um, as you can see, they're nice big rooms, well ventilated. Again, specialist maths rooms. Uh, and uh, here at Albury Academy, we have um, an excellent maths department. Your children will be very good hands with us um, with our maths as well. Um, 
obviously working from their key stage two and into key stage three, we build upon their knowledge and skills in their curriculum um, to help develop them as they go through into key stage four and finally into their GCSEs. If you'd just like to follow me now, I'll take you down into our canteen area and our main hall. Thank you for taking a good look around our maths department. That's just an example of two of the rooms um, in our maths department. We do have 10 rooms in total uh, in our maths block. I'm um, just taking you into the main hall now where we um, have our assemblies, um, we have our school shows, uh, and obviously there, there's assessments and exams that go on in here as well. As you can see, we've got the main stage where the performing arts faculty um, do lots of the school shows uh, and the drama that goes on there as well. Uh, and in here, we have the main assemblies in the morning. Uh, and what you will also see under normal circumstances is this is also a lunch area as well, um, where we have the lunch tables and students will eat their lunches in here. As we just come through to this area here, um, you will see in this space here, we have our, our food serveries. Um, uh, and when the shutters are open, you will have a number of food serveries there. Um, where the students will queue up uh, and they will, uh, they will have their dinner there um, and they will go through into the canteen uh, and also the spaces that we have in the main hall available there, which is where they will have their lunch. This is an example of the biometrics machines that the students will use. We have a number of these around the school uh, and this is where the students use their fingerprints um, on here to access their accounts um, where they can uh, get their money and the value they've got um, from the parent pay, um, which they can use for, for their school lunches. Taking you down the performing arts corridor now. This is the second of the art rooms. Again, a specialist room with the equipment. As you can see, it's a very, very large room um, in terms of the room that's needed for such a practical subject. Um, as we move a bit further down the hall, we'll take you into the drama studio. Okay, this is our uh, drama studio. Again, another specialist room um, that we use, and, and this is used in Key Stage 3 um, and in Key Stage 4 as the students move through to their, their GCSE uh, years. Um, and this is where they perform their drama, and particularly if they uh, engage in the school shows as well um, for extracurricular work, um, this is where it all happens and the, the performances get put together. Okay, so we're on the main landing here at, at level one. Um, these are the stairs that take us up to the next level where we have our humanities faculty. And to show you around the humanities faculty, I'm going to hand over to Miss Tillotson. Thank you, Mr. Creswell. My name is Mrs. Tillotson, as you know, and I'm going to show you around the humanities faculty first. With a little stop off in an ICT room. So this is one of our ICT um, facilities in the school. Obviously we teach classes in here, ICT, computer studies. Um, children love it, it's a lovely open space. Moving down, got another ICT room there. And down into the humanities faculty. Obviously it's important to teach children about where in the world they live and come from and the history of, of our lives as today. This is one of our humanities classrooms. As you can see at the moment the children all have their own individual um, packs of resources which they keep with them through the day and they leave here overnight. Some of the rooms in the school are very large rooms that we had designed um, to provide some air and some space but also to allow innovative team teaching um, and classes that were a little bit larger than they would normally be so that we could have two or three members of staff um, working with those students. view down through the window of our um, pod areas and open spaces for the children to eat their meals as well. Um, we serve food from pods like that around the school. Move 
gone to the communications corridor now. This is where the majority of our English lessons take place. We're absolutely passionate about teaching our young people the power that words can have to change the world. Um, our young people, we leave, when they leave here, they need to be responsible citizens. They need to be able to contribute and that's absolutely our aim. We teach them um, from entirely the care ethos. They need to celebrate, they need to achieve and, and we teach them that they will leave us in that way. Their good behaviour is absolutely paramount. Our children behave well. They are behaved in lessons, they behave in the corridor. They're polite and they're kind young people. We're always looking for innovative ways to engage our young people in uh, reading as well. And of course we have many clubs going on in the school. So through the week your, your children will have the opportunity to take part in clubs from all different faculty areas. Just have a quick peek in one of the classrooms down here. So this is one of our Year 11 form rooms and one of our English classrooms. All of our form tutors and all of our children are all zoned into year groups. Um, each year group has an office with their head of year. Um, the year 11 one is just along the corridor there, we've just passed it. Our young people know who to go to if they need help and we will absolutely be there for them. We'll head down here now towards technology. I'm going to hand over to Mrs Mewis, who will be your head of year if you start here with us in year seven. Hi students, hi parents, my name's Mrs Mewis. I'm the current head of year seven and I'm going to take you round some of our classrooms down here where some of our most exciting learning takes place. Firstly, we're going to see the food tech room. Every year seven student will get the opportunity to access the cooking rooms and complete lessons which involve them cooking in here. We've got two rooms like this and they will be doing lessons on cooking scones and lots of others and planning healthy meals. Okay, we're gonna stay in technology and now explore some of the other rooms that we've got here. So as part of technology, the students will be doing lessons, looking at how they can have a healthy lifestyle, planning meals, but also looking at the engineering um, side of things. I'm going to take you now to a woodwork room where we'll see some of the equipment and machinery that the students will also get to use. Here we have one of two of our woodwork rooms. As you can see, it has lots of equipment in for the students to use and they'll be making things in here over the period of their first year. And we're going to head round now and I'll show you the main student entrance and then on down to B Block, which is where our modern foreign languages lesson take place. So when students arrive here in the morning to school, this is the student entrance here that they will use after coming in via the main gates. They will then make their way through to the rest of the school towards their form rooms and lessons. We're now heading down towards B Block and out onto the playground you'll see as well, which is where the students will have PE lessons but also go for break and lunch time. As we head down the corridors, you'll see lots of information with regards to our ICT department and some of the opportunities that the students will have. Okay, we're in one of our, one of our seven computer rooms across the school. As you can see, the equipment is fantastic and state of the art. Each student will have ICT lessons weekly and then that can lead into computer science as they take their GCSE options. And as we continue down the corridor, we'll continue into the Modern Foreign Languages Department. Here at Oldbury Academy, we offer German as our subject and every year seven, we'll complete German and learn German during their time here. 
If you look across the board, you'll see why Germany is so important and how many technologies and the things that we use daily are connected to the language. As we head down the corridor, linked into learning German, we also have our planned Germany trip, which runs every year, where we take the students over and they get to experience and use their language skills that they have learned here at Albury Academy. And that leads us down to the MFL department hub where we've got an extensive EAL section. That's English as an additional language where students who have got English as a second language get the required support here with making sure they make the progress that they require to make a difference in this country. And as we head back down onto the B Block corridor, we'll be taking you out across to the playground and then on to M Block where Mr Brittle will continue the tour. Here at Oldbury Academy, our whole school ethos revolves around our care ethos, which you'll see on the windows here. To celebrate together, to achieve achievement for all, respect each other and expectations to succeed. That is what we want each and every student to do here at our school and it forms part of our everyday teaching. And as we head over here, as well as the canteen here in school, we've got outside areas for the students to eat at as well. This is our pod where we sell sandwiches, paninis and other snacks for the students to have both at break time and at lunch time. And as we head out towards the main playground, we'll be heading over to PE and the M and M block, which is where Mr Brittle will continue the rest of our tour. You will see here plenty of outside seating areas for the students for those warmer days and so they can sit and be with their friends during unstructured times. Hello Year 6 and hello Year 6 parents. My name is Mr Brittle, I'm the Operations Manager and I'm also the Transition Lead here at Oldbury Academy. I'm delighted to end this tour with you today. Um, my job is to show you the outside spaces that we've got here at Oldbury, to show you N Block, the PE section, and then also to finish the tour with a few key important messages that you will need to know if you are applying for our school in September. But first of all, take a look at our outside space. This is our main playground. As you can see, it is huge. We've got basketball courts, we've got our uh, planting area over there. And as we walk up to where the, the gates are there, that leads into our outside eating area, which is currently being used for year nine and 10 during their COVID restrictions. And we're now gonna head forward into N Block. So if you want to follow me through, we'll go into N Block. Um, as I've said, this is N Block. So N Block is uh, one of our older parts of the school um, and it was N Block because it was the new part at some point. So in 2005 to 2007, this bit was built as a state-of-the-art uh, section for our school, uh, which housed previously our SEN department, uh, it also housed some of our ICT rooms uh, and also housed some of our applied learning rooms. Uh, now we've opened it up to uh, house the ICT still uh, with our really large group cover rooms if needed or our ICT rooms uh, and also some of our normal classrooms for the technology department. As we head through you can see that our learning support centre is down here where we offer some support for our students that need that little bit of, uh, of help in terms of their emotions, in terms of their uh, support for school. Uh, and that is where Mrs. Roberts and her, her learning support team are based. Uh, down here uh, is the section where we have our ICT rooms and we've got three of our large ICT rooms uh, down here at the moment. So this is what is called N3. Uh, we've then got N2 and N1 at the end. And as you can see, they're nice big ICT rooms. Mm -hmm. 
And if we head through here, we will take you now into PE. Here we have our Sam's gym area. Sam is our community manager and also one of the PE teachers in school. Sam is responsible for the community aspects of the school, uh, for the dance studio bookings and also for the sports hall bookings uh, over the weekend uh, and runs his very, very successful gym. As you can see, this is our gym. This section here is open to our students and staff until one o'clock uh, each day, and then it's open to the members of the public uh, from one o'clock onwards. Obviously the doors are locked, uh, so we can keep our students safe, uh, but then the gym hands over to our members of the public from one o'clock onwards. The other side of these doors is where our dance studio is and our sports hall. Let's take a look. This is our fantastic, massive dance studio, which again, we open up to members of the public uh, during the weekend and after school, uh, but it's predominantly one of our areas where a majority of the dance department and the dance lessons take place here for all key stages, from key stage three, which is seven, eight and nine, up until key stage four, which is 10 and 11, if students have chosen it as their options. We're now gonna take you through to the sports hall. And here we have our sports hall. Our sports hall is absolutely huge uh, and boasts uh, courts for badminton. It also boasts courts for football, indoor football, and also for basketball. And if you follow me down here, I think we might have a surprise for you with some of our PE department who are actually playing table tennis. Come on through. Here we have some members of our PE department. This is our PE foyer, where you'll find our PE department, and they have got their own little uh, office in there. They've also got a little budgie in there, if you can see as well. Um, you will see a majority of these screens, there's quite a few of these screens around school. Uh, they're information screens for our students, uh, and also for our members of staff, and we've got obviously important messages on there at the moment. Uh, at the moment, we've got catch it, bin it, kill it, which is really, really important for us uh, at this moment in time. As we walk out here, I'll show you some more outside spaces. <music> Our PE department don't just use the inside spaces, they also use a lot of our outside spaces. And as you can see here, we've got a lot of green space for us to use. This is something I want you to see. I want you to see how much green space we've got. So we're gonna go on a little tour around the, uh, the path here, which takes you onto our main big field, uh, which we can use for our PE lessons and also for some lunch time. So follow me through. We are very lucky to have all of this outside space here. We again use it for PE, we also use it during lunch times as well. Uh, and on the field you will see that we've got four posts, we've also got our athletics track and also we do rounders and softball, very other different types of activities uh, for PE. We have also had um, members of the year five, year six and lower down in the, in the key stage one year groups uh, that have been up to complete their sports days on our field. Take a look. We've also got our multi-use games area, which is over here, which at the moment you can see we've got some goals plugged in, and we've also got our netball courts. Our multi-use games area is called a mugger, and this is where you might have your PA. This is our uh, parent and staff car park. Obviously students aren't allowed on this section, but through those gates there is our other outside seating area, which I mentioned earlier. We're also lucky enough to have our own minibus, which as you can see is parked up here, and we use these for small trips or for uh, small uh, visits to, to other local air attractions. Uh, that concludes our tour at Year 6. Thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, we at Oldbury Academy really hope you choose us as your secondary school uh, for the future, and I am really looking forward to making sure that if you do choose us, that your transition is a success and you are very, very happy here at Oldbury Academy. 
thank you, take care, and we'll hopefully see you soon.